สบายดีอัมเพนฮงทอง Welcome to Simple l a o Cuisine l a o is between China, Vietnam, Cambodia, Thailand and Burma I'm going to show you how to make simple, healthy and tasty meal that take about 10 minutes to cook each dish l a o food is gluten free and dairy free Traditional l a o cooking use 5% meats and 95% vegetables and get help from the MSG Here in America, I feel that we eat 95% meats and 5% vegetables I learned to cook from my mom and grandma. I have made some change and compromise. I don't use MSG, and I use 30% meats and a lot of fresh herbs to flavor 70% vegetables. So the vegetable tastes good, and it's good for you. Hot pepper are my friends. For me, good food is like smiling. When adding hot pepper, it's laughing. Ha ha ha! Some of you might call it crying, but don't worry. If you're not hot like me, leave it on the side. Hot people, eat up. It's good for you, and you can join my super hot club. Today, I'm making um, grilled hot wings for the summer, and um, shrimp and basil fried rice, and floating melons for dessert. And my guests today are Angelica, Roy, and Tanisha, and the Venture Crew 25. Welcome to the show. Okay. Let's make grilled hot wings. I have here hot chicken, hot wing, um, chicken wings. I'm gonna make it hot actually. Okay. Here, I have lemongrass. Have you guys seen lemongrass before? No. No. This is lemongrass. Kind of look grassy, lemony. What do you do? You just wash them well. I wash everything. And if you pinch it and smell it, it smells nice. And I will cut it. It's very stringy, so I'm going to cut it right here. I won't. I don't need that much. And cut across the grain, very thin. And I will put it in a mini chopper to chop them, or you can do it by hands. But I don't like to do too much work when I'm cooking. I try to do as little as possible, so you can enjoy your meal. Okay, cut it up. See, it's kind of like purple inside, and it's soft. And I cut a little more. Now it's getting harder. And now I will stop. And all this hard part, I will boil this to make soup, or you can boil it to make tea. And that's lemongrass tea, and it's good for you. Ooh. I put it in any chopper here. But you can just run your knife over back and forth in your w i l y mince. work very well. I love this little mini chopper. In Laos, we don't at least have this uh, mini chopper, so we will use that mortar pestle and pound it until your arms get very tired or have a nice muscles because you work so much. And in here, I don't need that much work, so I will use this little mini chopper. I'm going to put this away because I'm done with that. Get it out of the way so I can marinate my chicken wing. So I have lemongrass in here. Get it all that flavor in. That's lemongrass. I have black pepper, salt, about um, half teaspoon black pepper, teaspoon salt, one tablespoon sugar. You want to make it a little bit sweet. One tablespoon um, garlic powder, and two tablespoon. Soy sauce. Let's get rid of that. And now you're just gonna mix them well. And I will, I will put this on the grill at home. I will use um, my um, barbecue grill. And when you do the barbecue grill, you put one layer, spread them out, don't overcrowd them, and put the heat on low. You preheat the, your um, barbecue grill first. And put them on very very low. You grill this with the lid closed until the one side is brown, and you turn over to brown the other side. When you do that in the low heat, they will cook completely by the time the other side is cooked. Brown one side, turn over, brown the other side, and they very fully cook. So you don't have to worry if you do high heat; they will just burn. They don't get cooked. But in here, I am going to put it in the oven, boil until one side is brown. And turn over and brown the other side in the broil. 
and that will be fully cooked. That probably take about half an hour, or maybe 20, 20 minutes on each side, maybe. Let's put all this in here. Did you uh, put anything in the chicken before you? Uh, Nothing. All the flavor I just put in that you see. So all the flavors here. Oh, I like to marinate this overnight, but I have made one that I marinated overnight. But what I do is I marinate it overnight and I grill them the next day or put in the oven. In the summer like this, I like to use the grill. <coughs> I don't turn my oven at all in the summer because it's used too much, um, add too much heat in your house. And you turn on the AC and the heat, they just go crazy. So I will use the grill. So this is gonna go in the broil. Okay, let's get that in. And I have made one here ahead of time. So you can find a place to put this. Put it very close to the heat. Broil that until it's brown. And you get your chicken wings. Oh, did, where's my hot peppers? I forgot to add the hot peppers in there, but there was some in here. What you do, you just a teaspoon of hot pepper. I thought I did. I'm not sure I did. I couldn't find it. That's one when you want to make it spicy. But these are not hot. I hope you guys like spicy. Mm -hmm. Okay, these are chicken wings. Fully cooked. I love to put them on the grill. No adding heat in the house in the summer. So the AC works better. <laughs> heat and cold, it's just not good. All right, this kind of hot, guys. I add some um, of the hot peppers that I, you put on your pizza. I put a teaspoon in here. Might be a little bit too hot for you guys. So go ahead, have a taste. There you go. And here, let me, all right. Let me put this away. Way. All right, let's make shrimp and basil fried rice. Let me beat my eggs here. One egg. Beat that, this? get it ready. Just put it down. Yeah. Beat my egg, get it ready. It's very good. It's not too hot, right? No. I add a lot of hot peppers in there. Pop my garlic. Ooh, where's my? Huh. Where did it go? Where's the my meat pounder? You see it anywhere? Right, right, right. Oh, oh, it's in here. Thank you. <laughs> I put it there and I forgot. This is how I chop my garlic. Lift, uh, open the bag, get the air in it, and hit it. And perfectly chop without getting your hand dirty. Hit, hit, hit. Don't hit it too hard because it's going to break the bag and flying all over. See that? There you go. Right? Garlic is perfectly chopped. And now I am going to chop my red onions. I like color. So I will use a red onion and also the colorful food are good for you. So try to use colorful food, vegetable it make the food look good and taste good. Let's chop my onions. Coarsely chop. Okay, I don't want my... Oh, I don't know what happened. There we go. One more. So this will give it a beautiful color. Too spicy, Roy? No. <laughs> Just coughing. That's okay. That's my onions. Okay, let me remove my a little bit because it's getting hot. I don't want it to burn my garlic. I want it to be nice and hot, but not too hot. Why I am chopping all of this. You can use snow pea. This is sugar snap pea. So I'm gonna cut it a little bit. Nice bite size. <coughs> Wash everything. 
I think it's too hard for Roy. No, it's not. <laughs> Trust me. I guess Roy is not that hard after all. <laughs> oh, no. No, no, no. <laughs> yeah? No. Okay. I eat lots of spicy yeah? things. Yeah? Um, what peas is that you're using there? This is sugar snap pea. And um, snow pea or thinner, you can use that too. But I have sugar snap pea, so I'm using this one. Try to use different color of vegetable when you, um, when you cook, so that way they make the food look very nice. And remember, different vegetables cook at different time. You can use red cabbage in here. Okay, that's my shrimps ready. I have to chop everything before I start because it will be very fast. Well, I need some ginger here. The same thing with ginger, wash it first and then peel. I'm just going to cut the tip off. And you can peel it or you don't have to ginger. Um, you can do either way. Just trim up the um, brown part. You can do the same thing with the ginger and add it in here and hit it. See that? Perfectly chopped. Or you can put in a mini chopper. When I just need a little bit, I just put in the bag and hit it like this. When I need more than a little bit, and I need a lot more, and I put in my mini chopper so it works better. That's ready. Then I will add my olive oil here, two tablespoons in my wok. Okay, Let me, you know what? I think I have time to chop that. Okay, let's start. Okay. My spatula. Put the bottom of your wok. Nice and hot. Add your garlic and ginger. Uh, the same thing with the ginger. If you slice it, the ginger, or you can smash it up, add to the hot water, and then you um, get your tea, ginger tea. It's nice and inexpensive. Okay, garlic and ginger go in there. Go out the bag. Don't have to get your hand dirty. We all gonna smell like garlic, guys. <laughs> stirring so they don't burn. Light brown, don't burn. Almost there. When, um, when you light brown your garlic and ginger, they, it releases a lot of um, aroma and, and flavor. Mm. You start to smell it already. Mm -hmm. it smells it smells nice. You can smell this mile away. If you cook this at home, your neighbor says, what are you cooking? So be <laughs> careful, they're going to come over. <laughs> I'm going to add my shrimp and vegetable go into because the shrimp cook fast. I'm going to add my vegetable, onions and snow pea or sugar snap pea or any vegetables. But be careful, you have to know your vegetables. Some need to cook for like only a few seconds, some need to cook for a few minutes. Okay, I'm going to cook this. Salt. Okay, what's wrong? I need you to be very hot right now, my wok. Black peppers, salt and black peppers. Okay, I need to move them. I don't know what happened. They're that, that hot. I need you to be very hot. All right, while right, that's getting hot, I'm going to chop my herbs. This is scallions. Remember to wash everything very well when you cook because they look clean, but they're not clean, so wash them, okay? If you add chicken instead of um, shrimp, you're going to have to cook chicken like a minute before you add vegetables, but the shrimp cook fast. This is Thai basil. I want you to smell this. You can use regular basil. I'm going to give you a little bit. It's a little stem is a little bit purple. You smell this. I think it smells have more flavor than an Italian basil. Mm -hmm. But if you don't have it, just use regular basil, Italian basil, sweet mm -hmm. basil, or whatever, any kind of basil. Don't use lemon basil. Don't use holy basil. That's completely different. Mm -hmm. 
I need to evaporate that liquid. Okay, I need you to be very hot here. Okay, this is done. Now I'm going to move it out. Okay. If you like it spicy, you can add some of my friends in here, hot peppers. What do you think? A little bit? Yes. A little bit of my friend? Okay, there you go. Make it <laughs> laughing a little bit. Okay. I'm going to move it to the side. Now we'll add the eggs. Just one egg, or oh, you can add more. Now, what is the egg for? Ah, just egg color and flavor. And leave it to the center. Okay. And don't stir it yet. Wait a few seconds. Let it cook. Are there any extra uh, ingredients you can add to this? Oh, you can add um, different vegetables. Any colorful, I like cabbage. I like Napa cabbage, a regular cabbage, purple cabbage. Regular one, um, bean sprout. Bean sprout, you have to add last minute. If you add spinach, you have to turn it off before you add it. Any vegetables. Um, not hot cabbage has a lot of water. You have to know the vegetables that have a lot of water, you add them less. And don't add them too much because they're going to make the rice very soggy. Okay, now you can stir. Okay. You don't want any liquid in here because it's going to make the rice very soggy. Just swim a little bit, and I will add the rice in a minute. I, um, I'm using the wok, but I forgot I should bring a non-stick wok. will be better to make fried rice. And you know what's better? Big frying pan, non-stick frying pan, because it has plenty of room to evaporate all the liquid. Mm. Oh, can you come and turn this for me? Ooh. Uh oh, oh, I need you to turn that for me. Burn. <laughs> it might be burned. And it's over here. There it is. There you go. And this. Thank you. I thought I can't do anything by myself. I guess I can't. Okay. Now that everything is like cooked, and I'll add the rice. And now that's regular rice, right? Regular rice. Just to make the rice, you just want to reduce the um, water a little bit than usual. Mm -hmm. um, you just, one cup of rice, one cup of water, not two cups like other people tell you. One cup of rice, one cup of water. Bring it to a boil. Um, this is soy sauce. Two tablespoons. Bring it to a boil. As soon as it's boiled, you reduce the heat to low. And then you simmer it for like eight minutes, five to eight minutes. And then, you, and then after that, you turn it off. After eight minutes, you turn it off, and you let it sit for another five to 10 minutes, and your rice is fully cooked. Don't cook it until it's fully cooked, because it's going to burn. It's going to stick on your pot. You do it that way, your rice always come up nice and fluffy every time. Do you create a lot of smoke in here? Yeah, I burn my chicken wings. So non-stick pan, frying pan, big frying pan, it's better for fried rice. I'm going to turn to turn this low. Okay. I like to use the hot rice because it's cooked faster. It separates faster. Some people will like cold rice. No, I like hot rice. See this, how they break down very nicely? Okay. Now I will add my herbs, scallion. And basil, you can do mint, you can do different um, herbs. You can do cilantro. You want to change the flavor, you change the herbs. Okay, I'm going to turn off the heat. That's off, but it's still hot, it's still cooking. If you add spinach, you turn it off and then add it like when I add the um, herbs. The same thing with the bean sprout. You leave the heat on, you add the bean sprouts, mix it, and turn it off. 